looking for forgiveness in our community is nowhere to be found. Teach! Nowhere to be found. We still hold a grudge against uh, 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 Lil Tyrone and we still hold a grudge against Auntie May and we still hold a grudge against Uncle Charles and all of these. We hate each other. So that brother has to come here and tell me what's the solution to those things that happen in our community. Right. It seems like that's how they got the habit us hating each other because they know we're the chosen ones. All praises. That's that's very that's very wise you said that. When we get back on top. That's a scripture for them. Uh, you said it's like our enemies know and understand the level of hatred that we have for one another. That's good. Man. I'm thinking of something I can't think of. Uh, yes, all praise. Thank you. This brother right here. All praises. Give me that. The Book of Judah, chapter five and verse twenty. So it's like, it's like you said, my sister. You said it's, it's almost as if our enemies know that when they look at our communities and our our neighborhoods. Man, these people really hate each other. And they, love it. and they eat it up. They, love it. they eat it up, sis. These people love fornicating with each other. You know what we're going to do? Let's make all of their music videos full of fornication. Yeah, that'll work. Let's make sure that every woman on that music video is dressed naked. Yeah. Yeah. All of those people... They hate each other so much that they'll uh, 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 degrade their own women on that international TV. Read. Says, Shoot it up. Listen up, sis. Chapter 5 and verse 20. Read. Now, therefore, my Lord and governor. Now, therefore, my Lord and governor. What's happening right now is that you having, you're having a council amongst political, uh, 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 political parties. Right? Not of our nation. People who establish uh, political uh, establishments in the courts, right? The government is now speaking amongst themselves. Right. Right? Listen to this real quick, bro. Because my sister said something very, very important. She said, she said how'd you put it, sir? She said, how is it that our enemies look at us in our neighborhoods and they say, we can profit off of these dumb people. They hate each other, right? They, they kill each other. They sell drugs to each other, right? And they poison their own community. How can we profit from this? Well, guess what? We're going to profit off of their hatred. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit down and we're going to say, hmm, okay, they love having sex outside of marriage. They love fornicating. They love sleeping with each other's girls. Let's make sure that they have no family establishment, right? By doing what? Putting on international TV and saying, make sure all they women look naked. Make sure all they women look naked. And therefore, it's going to be a lot of fornication. Therefore, it's not going to be any fathers in the home. Listen up good. Read. If there be any error in this people. Right. So this is what the government is establishing right now. They say, look, if there be any error, any sin amongst these people. Read. And they sin against their God. And they break their God's commandments, their God's laws. Right. If there be any type of sin in this nation, read. Let us consider that this shall be their ruin. Let us consider this is our opportunity to take these people over. Yes, this is the, the white man's opportunity. This is the Chinese opportunity, the Japanese opportunity to take these people over, take these people down. Right now, they're ruling the earth, and we don't like it. Why? Because they want to rule the earth. So what's going to happen? They're going to take these people down by doing what? Making sure that that level of hatred is magnified. Right. Make sure that that level of hatred that these people, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans have for each other is magnified. So they're considering these are what your politicians do. They sit on high and they say, hmm, how can we make sure that these people are not received of their God? Right. Great. Let us consider that this shall be their ruin. Let us consider that this shall be their ruin. Read. And let us go up and we shall overcome them. And we shall overcome them. That's how they overcame us here in America. That's why my sister, we suffer this right here. This slave trade. We go through this right now. The Bible is our black history. Right. You ain't gonna read that nowhere else. You're not gonna read the, the crafty devices 
Matter of fact, give me that. My brother, I want you to listen up real quick. I know you with your family. All right? Give me um some 80. Crisis, all right. My sister said something real key. She said, I'm the, the politicians, right, of the world, right? Not us, because we ain't got no political power. Ain't nobody coming to save us. We got to save, we got to save ourselves. We got to depend on Christ, the black Messiah. That's to right. Come to save us, all right, by keeping the commandments. She said something very important. She said, She said, the politicians that rule the earth. They look at our people, right? They look at our people and they say, all them niggas down there, they hate each other. They hate each other. We can make profit off of them. They don't know who they are. They don't know who their God is. They think that it's okay to, to, to celebrate the destruction of their brothers and sisters Teach. by celebrating Thanksgiving when that's actual. Look, look it up on YouTube. Every Native American hates Thanksgiving celebrated and they are brothers and sisters right we got the same blood running through our veins these are our people god's chosen people right black systematics and native americans who are the real hebrews the real israelites the real jews we are simple today and guess what our enemies know it and they profit off of it right right they profit off of it and our men are not standing up in our community our men allow our children to listen Songs like Molly Perkins said, got a dead madness, madness, right? We see Boys in the Hood. We see Boys in the Hood was made. It, it was a documentary. It wasn't just a movie, right? Snowfall. That wasn't just a movie. That was a documentary. And guess what? When they put those things, they allow those things to be out in Hollywood. So when they put those things out in Hollywood, and we eat it up, we think it's for entertainment. Right? They put it out, Boys in the Hood, uh, Minister Society, right? Friday, they put these things in our, on our TV screens and they expect for us to get something out of it. It's not entertainment, it's to judge the mind of the Negro. Right. Maybe if we started to think, if we looked at this movie, we should change ourselves. But none of us thought that. None of us looked at this movie, this is a damn shame. This is how they look at us. This is how the nations look at us. This is how they see us. They see us like niggas. Read that in 82. This book of Psalms, chapter 83 and verse 3. Wow. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Right. So the politicians have taken crafty counsel against our people. Read. And consulted against thy hidden ones. They consulted against our hidden ones. They had counsel, my brother. They've had counsel against the hidden ones of God, the lost sheep, right? Why does it say hidden ones? Because why? Why does the Bible call us hidden ones? Read that part again. Listen closely. They have taken crafty counsel uh -huh. against thy people. Against thy people. The politicians have taken crafty counsel against your people, the ones who are hidden in their identity. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord!